So for those of you who uh, have seen any of our other videos, you'll know that I have a bit of a soft spot for uh, soft spot for film. And this is the really most basic kind of film camera you can get. It is uh, a lens at the front, film at the back, and a dark space in between uh, to make sure that you only expose the film with what comes through the lens. This is a large format camera, and it is one of those cliche cameras that you focus with a dark cloth over your head and uh, with a magnifying glass or a loop on the ground glass to, uh, to see what you're photographing. I love shooting film, and I love shooting film with this camera. And in fact, actually, strangely, I love shooting portraits with this camera. I'm sure people will disagree with me, but I feel that you cannot easily get a large format feel with a smaller format sensor. And smaller format would be anything smaller than four by five inches. So um, I find that whenever I shoot with this camera, invariably I'm extremely happy with what I shoot. I mean, it's, it's somehow every time I point it towards something, it just turns it into magic. Part of that probably is the lens. This is a really obscure, well, not really obscure, fairly obscure, a Zenitar, Schneider Zenitar lens, 150 millimeter f2.8. I bought it off a friend of mine about a decade ago for a thousand bucks, and now they're worth about five times that. Um, it is actually a 2.8 lens on a large format camera with about that much depth of field when we're shooting wide open, but it is so unbelievably beautiful. It's incredible how fantastic stuff looks when I shoot with it. And uh, so I was digging through some of my negatives. We'll show you a few photos of, of what we've done. In case you're wondering what a 4x5 neg looks like, that's one there, Kodak 400 NC, a little bit of dust on it, photograph of my daughter uh, on a log. Kodak certainly still makes color film. I think Fuji still makes color 4x5 film. It's about $3 a shot for the film and about $2 a shot to process the film. Every time you click the shutter, it's five bucks. So you don't make too many mistakes because you only take photographs when you know everything's just right. There is a process to shooting with it that if you get it wrong, you ruin everything. The amount of discipline required is substantial compared to, to digital camera. It's a lot of fun. I mean, I really, I, really love, I really love what we get out of it. Whenever I pull this thing out, everyone's always, they actually laugh at me because I, I have the dark cloth over my head and I have the, the loop out. But I'll tell you, when you take a photograph, especially if you shoot a Polaroid, um, I still have some left, and you drop a Polaroid shot on a 4x5 in front of someone who's never seen anything like that before, and it is really quite something. It's a lot of fun. And it's a great, it's a great piece of machinery. And uh, I shoot with it as often as I can. And every time um, I'm shooting a portrait or something like that, and if there's somebody who looks interesting or somebody who's, who's um, agreeable, we'll, uh, we'll sit and we'll do a, do a session, and it's always kind of fun what we come up with. I think the transitions from the in-focus areas to the out-of-focus areas are really, really, really beautiful. And, you know, some people refer to it as bokeh, but, um, but it, it's, it's different than that. It's, it's, uh, it's kind of hard to put your finger on it, but I, I gotta tell you, like, I just, you know, I'm just looking, I'm looking at this photograph that I shot of, this, of my Leica, and, um, and I'm looking at it, trying to think of what it is specifically that I like about it, that it would be different if I shot it with, say, my Hasselblad. And I can't really put my finger on it, but I, I, do, I do think, I mean, the way it handles highlights, because the film is so huge, the way it handles highlights is really quite something. The way it handles shadows is really quite something. But I really think that, that just the transition you know, just the, the, the way the optics work with the film in terms of just the size. I think the transition between in focus and out of focus is just really, really beautiful. And I just, you know, every time I take a photograph of anything with it, I just, I come back with a smile on my face. When you're shooting portraits, uh, it's a real team effort. You develop, there has to be a real sort of sense of intimacy, but it's, it's incredibly sympathetic. You know, you just don't see the imperfections. It's the strangest thing. When I shoot portraits, one of the reasons why I love it so much is that it, it really is very kind uh, to anyone and everyone. And every time I show someone a photograph that I've taken of them, with this camera, they always think it looks great because, you know, invariably it does. But, um, and that's not the photographer, that's the camera. Any, any modern lens is way better than this lens at f8 or f11, but this lens is way better than any other lens at f2.8. But I really, really like it and I really enjoy it. And every time I do it, I think I gotta do this more often.